Artificial intelligence through ChatGPT from OpenAI has been taking over the world since a few weeks. So I just wanted to take a moment and see how we can apply this in the automotive industry. So if you're in a car dealership right now, you will see how AI and ChatGPT can change your dealer's business operations entirely. From generating more leads to streamlining your sales process, using this correctly could be a edge against your competitors. So sit back, relax, and learn how AI can drive your dealership success. In fact, that YouTube intro was written entirely with ChatGPT. AI has been a buzz topic right now um, for the, at least for the last few weeks for sure. The tool is very powerful, okay? But it relies on the quality of questions you can ask ChatGPT. So the better your questions, the better your answers. And you can actually have a conversation with the tool. Anyway, what I want to show you today will be true for car salespeople, BDC agents, um, marketing directors, even uh, dealer principals, and perhaps everyone else in the dealership. I wanted to break down why this topic is important for dealers because uh, when you start using AI, you'll see the possibility. I'm expecting AI to evolve super quickly, but I'm also super excited to see how we're going to find new ways to use AI in automotive. I wanted to take a moment to show you exactly how AI can help us be better at our job. You know, like follow up with customers and basically selling more cars without working more. I've been digging into how it can make auto dealers more efficient, at least car salespeople, marketing people as well. And I can tell you right now, it's not close to replacing you but if you want to learn to work with ai you'll be able to basically multiply your workload uh, without spending more hours in the store we'll start with sales because i think it's a tough topic to manage with ai at least i haven't found a way to make it like whoa this is crazy but it's definitely helping uh create new uh ideas through new ways to handle objections uh, engage with customers as well and you can make it pretty cool i'm gonna share my screen for the rest of this video because i want to share a few a real example and how i've been playing with the tool so i hope this helps if you got any questions on how to use chat gpt in your car dealership let me know in the comments below um, and as always ask any questions you may have let's dive in okay let's run it okay so let's say my client is considering buying a sierra or a f-150 and i want to know a little bit more about both trucks and maybe the correct angle i could use to get in touch with them so maybe my customer told me he needed to pull something with his pickup truck because i am asking the right question as a car sales person then he asked about financing versus leasing maybe i want to get new angles with these perfect I run around, I want to create an email quickly. I can send to Dan. That's amazing and a little bit long though. So I asked him to summarize the email and then create an SMS for me. I can send to, to Dan as well. And then I, I just wanted to play around and seeing if uh, chat GPT could help me with um, customer objections. Now I want to go onto a more of a marketing side of things. Um, uh, now I want to do uh internet sales or bdc so i asked him to send an email to someone who su submitted a lead so let's see what it does what it does okay so now i gotta be more specific so don't be afraid to be specific when you're um asking something to chat gpt Okay, so now I wanted to know like five potential angles I could uh, talk to um, Anne-Marie regarding her all new 2022 Nissan Rogue. Then I asked it to create an email for Anne-Marie as well, just to inform her, you know, to uh, get the conversation rolling. Now I'd like uh, Anne-Marie to finance her new Rogue, so I asked ChatGPT to give me a few angles. I could discuss that with her. Now she, she told me that uh, she was hesitant about financing her, her new uh, Nissan Rogue. So I wanted to create or to get more arguments on how and maybe um, I could con convince her to finance her new Rogue. It gives me a few angles I could work with, right? It's pretty good. 
Okay, expand on number four. There you go. I could just straight out send this as an as an email or a text message. Now let's do an email marketing campaign for a car dealership for let's say I'm a marketing director and I want to create a new campaign. Now I asked it to create four um, emails with the title subject. Now it was upside down, so it was yeah, I, I, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to change the order, so I I just asked it. So recreated the whole thing. I could have done it manually, I guess, but just for the show, right? Let's say I want to create a Facebook ad as well to boost this sale. I asked it to do so. Then it gives me a headline, a body, and potentially a call to action. And I asked, um, there you go. You get some uh, testimonials. That's pretty good. You know, call to action. Visit us today and trade in your car with a, an idea of an image. That's pretty good. Um, now, if anyone comes in or calls into my dealership and asks about this sale, what should I say? Or what should my um, the, the, the person in charge of picking up the phone would say? So I could ask that. I, I could send this to my team. Hey, guys, quick sheet, uh, cheat sheet. Uh, if anyone calls about this sales, follow the script. Pretty cool. Just took me a few minutes, right? So you can really play around with this thing. Not bad. <clears throat> okay, so let's say I want to do a little bit of content marketing for my blog. Uh, it's a tedious process, so you could have something. Uh, you could have Chat G GPT to create articles for you. So one that could be of use is leasing versus financing a car. It's always good, right? It could be good today. Will be good in three years from now. So it's it, it's a pretty neat piece of content to have on your blog whatever because you can use it so many ways so now um you can ask it ask uh, chat gpt to create um, an seo friendly meta description so this helps with search engine optimization just fairly simple now let's say i'm i'm smart about content marketing and i want to do short form video i could ask it to create a tiktok script now it was a little bit too long for my taste so i i, I asked it to create it um, and make it shorter and then it was giving me a whole bunch of things like stock footage and stuff so and let's say i don't want to edit because you don't need to frankly um, i just asked it to remove the the, the stock footage part that it was pretty neat i think uh, so you got a pretty decent script to start with and you could just run around a lot and use that and then let's say i want to promote this video and send an email to my whole list which is a great idea by the way because you might get some people interested people new followers so um i like e like shorter emails so i asked it to make it shorter then i asked it to just generate a bunch of ideas i could actually use to get in touch with my customers Okay, now let's see um, how I can build a quick uh, car financing guide. I could use maybe as a, as a lead magnet, as a value uh, va value prop, uh, trying to get more, bring more value to people uh, considering my used cars or financing offers. Okay, now let's say I want to do, I'm doing marketing and I, I want to create a Google ad text with uh, chat GPT. Um, let's uh, try to get some new angles or new variations of these ads which is pretty good i asked it to be fairly short because you have to be um short on google ads and now i even asked it which one of these would do better in terms of click through click through rate in your opinion chat gpt and uh, we can uh, like we could see in the future if it was right now let's run a maintenance guide for my customers um, I want to do the top 10 things to look for when keeping a vehicle in good condition. Maybe it would be good for trade-ins. Maybe it would good, it'd be good for, um, you know, anything from uh, like on the service side. There's a few ways you could actually use this to generate leads, help your customers make better decisions, nurture, like do lead nurturing. This is a great way to do it as well. That's pretty cool. You could also do a like short form videos like you got 10 short form videos ideas just here. So it's pretty cool. Now let's try to get uh, more video topics about TikTok. Um, things to look for when you're in the market to purchase a new vehicle. So I want to have a pull or a way to engage with people with something that's going on in their mind already. So you, you might have a few people interested in these topics. You want to create as many videos as you can. I'm a big proponent of this. So make sure you do it. 
this helps you generate a ton of ideas very quickly. You can even like drill down in one of these specifically, which is pretty cool. There's so many ways you could go about this. So many ways. You got like a full year out of content here. Maintenance guides. This is pretty good because you could have like, I, I'm a big fan of creating lead magnets, lead magnets for car dealerships. People download these when they're interested in switching because they want to do, they want to know what's best. So as you can see, there's a lot of applications AI can help you with in your car dealership, whether you're in sales, marketing, service, and even finance. So drop a comment below in description if you've enjoyed this video. And let me know if you started enjoying or using ChatGPT to help you with car sales. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed and learned from this video. And also make sure to check out my car dealership marketing playlist on my YouTube channel. I hope you have an amazing day. See you in the next video.